Hello, all you beautiful people. It's day 17 of the Midnight Sun Summer Series. Look at that sky. What? It's 11 o'clock p.m. So today's topic is bugs. Bugs. What are bugs like in Hollywood? Are there bugs here? Are there a lot of bugs? Are there no bugs? Stay tuned. But now it's time for the daily update. The sun rose today at 2.13 a.m. and set at 10.55 p.m. That's three hours and 18 minutes of civil twilight and 20 hours and 42 minutes of daylight. It's six degrees Celsius with a seven to 11 kilometer hour wind. It's quite lovely. There seems to be a lot of noise around tonight, so. Let's see how we do. Like that. <laughs> so let's talk bugs. This is a really interesting topic for me since I've moved here because it wasn't until I made it through a winter that I realized I hadn't seen any bugs. And then spring came and there were two flies mating in the air outside on my porch. And I found myself like fixated. <laughs> Not because of the act, but because I just hadn't seen anything other than ravens all winter. Didn't see any bugs all winter. In fact, if a fly or two somehow ended up in the house, I don't know where they came from. It's like miraculous. But I would open the door and they would fly out and it's like they would freeze in the middle of the air and then they would just like drop to the ground. It's now the middle of June and I'm seeing bugs appear. So today I saw some gnats in the air, in this sort of valley area. And I've been seeing, you know, those big chunky flies and some little tiny black flies. And I saw a bumblebee. And I see one bumblebee, it seems, per season. So I've seen my bumblebee early this year, so I really hope I get to see another one. Because where does the bumblebee live? How does the bumblebee survive through the winter? I mean, I have so many questions. <laughs> so inside your home, at least where I am, there are no ants, there are no silverfish, no centipedes, no ugly bugs, no those little gray bugs that curl up into a ball, um, no fleas. I mean, you get some little flying things from plants, if when you get them, it comes in the soil or however that works. But you know, then I live with them. I'm like, hey guys, I got like plant visitors and they stay on the plants and then I'm not so lonely. Aw, oh, cue the violins. So if you grew up here, if you could imagine what it would be like to grow up without a lot of bugs. And one could also say maybe there are more bugs now than there were 20 or 30 years ago. I don't know. I'm not a scientist, but I feel like I might have heard a few people saying something along those lines. Um, the Arctic does have mosquitoes. And again, I don't know how that works, but they show up in July. It's big, it's boom, it's over. Like four to six weeks, it's done. These are all new experiences to me, these short lifespans. And I just curious how, you know, the eggs and the larva and everything survives this harsh climate. It's pretty interesting. So I don't consider them faux. I consider them fellow travelers on the Arctic path. The mosquitoes are really annoying. If I could tell you a little story, they didn't really bite me the first few years and I was pretty excited because I'm fairly popular down south with the mosquito crowd, but they weren't biting me. But last year, that all ended. <laughs> so it's just really nice not to have a lot of bugs around, I gotta say. I'm not looking forward to going back to a longer mosquito season, you know, ticks in Ontario. 
And I'm not bug phobic, but there's some bugs I'd just rather not be around, you know. And uh, saying that, there's a fly. Oops, just went that way. There's also, you don't get bugs in your garbage, right? So you don't have bugs like gnats around your fruit. And when you put your garbage out, like, I mean, it's only just starting to smell a little bit. But it's not that whole scene of where it's hot and your garbage is smelly. And there's like flies everywhere and different and I like it <laughs> I really do so stay tuned for the future videos where I tell you how I deal with the bugs of Ontario again I, I'm not afraid of bugs it's just okay here's another quick story so you remember when you're a kid and you sort of climb under a deck or just climb into some sheltered outdoor space and there's gonna be like cobwebs in there and spiders and like there might be mice in there and just, just, you know, it's not just all clear, but here it is. And so you'll often see kids, you know, because the houses are on, uh, not stilts, but they're raised up off the ground. So there are these crawl spaces and, you know, you might think like, oh, I'm not going in there, but like there's nothing in there. Not what you're used to if you're used to crawling into a space like that and you, you know, in other areas, there could be like snakes and scorpions, and you know what I mean? Here it's just like, it's just a space. Interesting perspective I wanted to share with you, and I have enjoyed it very much, and not really looking forward to going back to the mosquitoes of Ontario, if I'm honest, but it's in the cards for me. So thank you all who are watching the videos to the end. I always try and put something fun at the end, and... I have something else tonight for you. See you tomorrow.